Week 9 is finished. I had a really great week. And I'm going to start talking about soda. Uh, I don't drink much soda. Um, in fact, you know, most people's favorites are like Coke or Diet Coke or Mountain Dew, stuff like that. Mine is Big Red. Uh, I had it when I was a little kid, a long, long time ago. And it basically tastes like bubble gum, and it's absolutely amazing. Well, when I was in Scotland, I found the national drink of Scotland, uh, which is Iron Brew. Uh, it's obviously Scottish or fans of the Gators because this is, you know, orange and blue. But this pretty much tastes like Big Red. And so I wanted to basically open one up with you guys. And, uh oh, we're gonna wait for that here in a second. Uh, I wanna open one up, and while I record this video, I wanted to drink it. How does that sound? If I can get this stupid cap off. There we go. Cheers. Oh, so good. Scotland was absolutely amazing. Uh, I got to see my cousin, which is the most important thing. I mean, I've only seen him like once in the last however many years. And, and I give complete kudos to you for being in the Navy and being able to go in a submarine for months at a time. I, I, don't, I don't think I could do that. I honestly, no, I know I would not be able to do that. I met some really cool people. Uh, I met some really cool people um, in the hostel. I met some people just kind of chilling, hanging out out in the city. Uh, I, even, I even met uh, this one, one really cool person uh, on the airplane and air ride back. I was able to enjoy myself walking around the city, and I pretty much just walked around and just got completely lost. Um, well, kind of lost. A small city, so you can't really go too far and get lost. But I found some really cool stuff. The, uh, the hat that I was wearing in my last video, uh, my little beanie, I actually got in Scotland. I wanted to get a hat while I was there. While I was in Scotland, I continued a kind of not so great, but not that bad habit that I've developed uh, over the last couple weeks, and that is nicking uh, pint glasses. Um, yeah, I've been stealing glasses, uh, but I've accumulated a good little collection going on here. And the one I got from Scotland is Abbott Ale. Uh, it was really, really good. It was, you know, more of like a, a lager, if you will, but it was really tasty. It had good flavor to it. And then my favorite beer that I've had so far since I've been here is Smithix. Uh, and Smithix is absolutely amazing. I accidentally stole a Guinness glass while I was in Cork. Um, I didn't mean to because the band was playing upstairs and the bar was downstairs and so I went upstairs with my beer and I put it in my on the side of my book bag saying okay when I go back down I'm gonna turn it in. Well I completely forgot it was there and completely walked out of the bar with it. So Ireland has actually been really good. Man this is good. This is really tasty. Um, but Ireland has been really good on me. I really love it here. Uh, actually, I love the weather. It's actually getting cold, and you know, yesterday actually when I walked outside, it was freezing, and I loved it. Uh, and I can't wait. They're actually saying it might be snowing here uh, this month, which is going to be interesting because I've never lived in snow. I've only been around snow a few times in my entire life. But I've been loving Ireland. Uh, the people, the places, I love the city. The cultural difference, small cultural differences here and there haven't really been that bad. I have noticed, uh, I'm taking another drink of this. And chips are a little bit different one because chips are french fries. Uh, chips are called crisps. Uh, but the normal chips that we would buy at the grocery store, the only ones that you would recognize here is Doritos. And even then the bags are different and they taste slightly different. I haven't really talked about it since I've been here, but my beard, I feel, is growing in fairly nicely. Um, I've had several comments on it, uh, especially in the last couple of weeks, especially for Halloween. I was told that uh, I should dress up like an Amish person. Uh, I <laughs> thought that was really funny, you know, and like black corporate hat with the big brim and everything else. Also, I was also taught to look like St. Peter, um, which is a little odd. I don't know about that one. Last week, I finished uh, the second book in the Wheel of Time. Uh, it's Robert Jordan, uh, The Great Hunt. It was absolutely fantastic. It has turned into a very, very, very epic book. Started the third one on Wednesday or so of last week. I've only been able to read about 200 pages, but it's really, really, really good so far. Um, I've actually finished like four or five books since I've been here. Because I actually finished three other audio books, which are The Dresden Files. Uh, and those are absolutely fantastic too. I highly recommend both the uh, Dresden Files and the Wheel of Time series. They're absolutely epic and they're amazing. Uh, they're really easy to get through, so check them out. Alright, so video blog no-no. I just left and came back. I'm completely changed. I apologize. 
but I forgot to do two quick shout outs. Uh, one, to Anthony Daly Cruz and his wife, Kim. Uh, He's in Iraq. He's been there for like, he just left Iraq. And I wanted to give him a quick shout out, say, you know, I wish you the best, I hope you're safe. And I can't wait for you to be able to come home and give your wife one giant hug and welcome back to the United States. Two, thank you for my cousin Corey uh, for serving in the military. Uh, I love you, man, and thank you so much because I'm so proud of you and the things that you're going to do and the things you can do. Um, stick with your heart and you will, I promise you, you will not go wrong. So back to the ending of this video. I'll see you guys next week. All right? See ya.